Welcome to JLo Artist. Today we're going to be doing linear perspective. Linear perspective can be very frustrating, but once you understand it, it's quite liberating and you can be very, very creative with it, create some wonderful depth, um, some wonderful images with linear perspective. And if you understand linear perspective and value and how they go together to create depth and form, it's a wonderful thing. Thank you, Filippo Brunelleschi, the father of linear perspective. Really appreciate you being here. Appreciate you drawing along with me. So let's try some linear perspective. As we do linear perspective, this is going to be one point linear perspective. Um, we're going to talk a little bit more about this as we go, but there was a, a guy named Filippo Brunelleschi in the 14th century who spent years um, experimenting with this concept I'm going to teach you today. It is scientific. In other words, there's one way to do it and one way to do it right. What you can do from this is extremely creative. You can do a lot of creative things, but you got to do it this way. So um, I'm just going to I'm just going to show it to you and then we'll go from there. Um, so you've got a nice piece of 18 by 12 paper. Just fold that in half. And I don't know which direction you want to have it, top or bottom. It is totally up to you. I like to put the fold on the top. And as we go, I'm going to just uh, tell you a little story. So one day I was standing out in the middle of the West Desert, way out west, out by Hooper. And uh, some of you live in Hooper. And there's not much out there. Go ahead and draw a line. We're going to call that line the eye level line. Now, some people call it the horizon line. But Mr. Lowe calls it the eye level line because it is more definitive, more definition to what it actually is. If you were to stand out there in the West Desert, that line would correspond to where your eyes are. So you don't have to draw this little person. You can if you want to. But if you were to stand out in the West Desert, the horizon line, or what we're going to call the eye level line, E-Y-E -E level, corresponds to where your vision is, to where you're viewing it. Here in the West, our, our horizon looks more like this. So if we're standing out there in, in the West Desert, we're looking towards the mountains. This is kind of what we'd see. Our horizon line is where the sky meets the earth. Our eye level line is right level with our eyes. If we were on, the, on a pirate ship somewhere in the ocean, this is this would be water this would be sky let's say you're standing out next to a road that eye level line and where your eyes are that's your that your viewpoint right in the middle there is this point at which everything converges we're going to call that point i'm just going to label that the vanishing point So that vanishing point is the point at which everything recedes. If there were a road out there, that road might look something like this. And it would recede to a point where it, then it would vanish. It would come together. They would converge. So you've just, you don't have to draw the little guy, but just draw the little point. I just want you to understand that this is the viewpoint. This is your viewing, yeah, your vanishing point, your viewing point. Anything you draw would recede to that point. And just to make that, that point here, let's say the Amazon guy came by and dropped you off your Amazon package. Go ahead and draw your Amazon package over here. Try to make your lines parallel 
to the edge of your paper. Mine's not quite. I gotta gotta move it up here. So that you have what do you call lines that go back and forth like this? Horizontal, right? So you you've got horizontal lines. What do you call lines that come up and down? Very good. Vertical. V I R T I C. E L E vertical. What do we call lines that go to the vanishing point? Now, here's here's something that you may not know. A line that dissects or cuts in between is called diagonal. Di meaning because it cuts it in half. Two. Di is two. This is diagonal. But these lines that go to the vanishing point are called Orthogonal. O R T H O G O N A L. Orthogonal lines. So I'm going to refer to vertical lines. They, they're the ones that go straight up and down. Horizontal lines that go sideways. And orthogonal lines, back to back. Horizontal lines go, you know. And orthogonal lines that go to the vanishing point. Now, if we wanted to make our, our Amazon box look three-dimensional, we'd just go from the bottom corner to the vanishing point and draw a line toward the vanishing point, orthogonal line, from the top corner to the same vanishing point. And this one over here, since we can see part of it, we're going to put it to that vanishing point as well. So all these orthogonal lines go to that vanishing point. Wherever you chose it, wherever you put it, that has established your viewpoint. And then you end that Amazon box wherever you want to end it. I'm just going to end it right there. And if you have a grafting ruler, look through your ruler, line up your front edge with your back edge. So that they are parallel. You should know what that word means by now. Front edge, back edge, parallel. If you've got a right angle here, if you've got a, a 90 degree corner here, you've got to have that same 90 degree corner back here. They need to be parallel. This back edge and the front edge are parallel. And again, use your ruler, line it up. If you've got a grafting ruler, look through it. Line up that line with those pink lines, and you got it. And that's my Amazon box. Let's draw another one. Let's do one up here on the eye level line. You can make it as large as you want to make it, or as small as you want to make it. Mine's just going to be that big. And then you go top and bottom to your vanishing point. Now, here's something odd. Anything that's below your eye level line is going to go up towards the vanishing point. Anything above the eye level line is going to go down towards the vanishing point. So we know that this one is going to go up towards this vanishing point. And we know that this one's going to go down towards that vanishing point. And then finish that out wherever you want to put it. Now, here's a question for you. How come down here I can see the top part of this box, but up here I can't? What happens to things that are on your eye level line? I have here an Altoids box. The camera has a vanishing point. It's about, you know, right where? About right up in there somewhere. If I, if I put this like this, then we can see the side and the top of this. Our, our vanishing point 
So we can figure out where our vanishing point is by le leveling this out. Somewhere about right up in here is our vanishing point for the camera. So if we put our, our box here like this, if we go over, we're going to see more of that box and the top. And if you go onto your eye level line, look what happens. All of a sudden, your edges now are going towards your vanishing point. And if you go above your eye level line, then you're going to see the bottom of this. You'll see the front face, and you'll see this edge going towards your vanishing point. And again, your vanishing point is about right in here somewhere. Because it's level with this. Anytime you have a level line, at your vanishing point. So here our vanishing point is about right in there. You can figure out where your vanishing point is from your camera. Okay, does that make sense? Well, our vanishing point on our paper is over here. And so you're going to see more of these edges. The closer you get to the vanishing point, the less of that edge you see. And up here, same thing. Because we're on our eye level line, we're never going to see the bottom or the top. That thing is on our eye level line. Let's try it above it. Let's put a, a box kind of hovering up here. This is a um, alien spacecraft. So I don't know if you guys know this, but aliens are, it's harder to get around as aliens today. Everybody has cameras and things. So they disguise themselves. And today's aliens disguise themselves as Amazon boxes. So be very careful. When you open that Amazon box, it might be an alien spacecraft. Just a thought. So there's my, my rectangle. Now all I have to do is go from this corner to my vanishing point. So there's my vanishing point. There's my edge. And I draw it towards my eye level line and my vanishing point. Okay, you don't have to draw your line all the way to your vanishing point. Because if you're going to erase those lines anyway, why draw them? And then just finish off your edges wherever you want to finish them. I'm just going to finish mine right there. I look through my ruler. I line that up with a pink line. I know that that then is parallel. There's my... 90 degree angle, I line this up so it's parallel. There's my, my floating box. My little Amazon spacecraft. I love their logo, by the way. Whoever designed their logo was a genius. So, uh, do you guys know what the Amazon River is? The symbol for the Amazon River is an arrow. And so, for their, their box here, they have this little arrow, but it's curved to make a little smile. So, it looks like a little smile because, you know, getting an Amazon box makes you happy. I don't know, they're just really happy. That's just a great logo. It is really a good logo. Very, very simple. You know exactly what it is. Okay, everybody good with that? What if we wanted to do let's let's do another box. Let's have it um, let's have it on this side. I'm gonna have it kind of tall and thin. So, um, you know, I, I'm waiting around for my Christmas present from Amazon. Actually, mine usually don't come from Amazon. And they're tall and thin, my boxes are. You know why? What's the best Christmas gift ever? You're right, a sword. <laughs> so all my sword boxes, they, they look like this. You guys want a sword for Christmas? How much would it cost to buy a sword from you? From me? Yeah. Um, I don't sell swords. If I made one, it would be a lot because it would it'd be extreme. But you can buy swords online. There's a company out of Elgin, Illinois called Cult of Athena that you can get them with.
So all I do then is go from each of my corners to my vanishing point. And now maybe I'll make this one just a little bit wider, just for fun. You can get like 10 swords in there. That's cool. And then finish it off wherever you want to finish. Make sure your front edge and your back edge are parallel each other. Use your ruler. Line that up. Front edge, back edge. Front edge, back edge. And if you want, you can erase any any lines that go beyond there to your eye level line to your vanishing point. You can erase those. Now let's say we this is box is clear. Maybe maybe we just got a fish tank, and it's it's plexiglass or glass frame, you know, and it's got water in it. How do you how do you do that? How do you know where all your edges are? use your vanishing point you just say well good if it worked this way from this corner to my vanishing point that way it's going to work on the inside so all i have to do is go from this corner to my vanishing point and if i draw a little line like this then all of a sudden that opens that up now it looks like i can see inside of it and i know that my front edge is horizontal and verticals my back edge would have to do the same so i'd have to have horizontal lines so it meets up with that one a vertical line so it meets up with this one up here and if I did it right I should be able to see through those does that make sense now of course if it's glass then you may not see some of these edges because the reflections and things get in your way. And if there's water in it, these little lines are going to be distorted because the water will make them distorted. But it's, it's up to you what you do with this. But that's, that's how you would look inside of that. Is everybody good with this? This is your basic, basic, basic linear perspective. All you got to remember is that your front edge, you've got your horizontal and verticals, and your back edge then goes to your vanishing point or your your side edges. Anything that goes away from you is going to go to that vanishing point. Just like our road would go to the vanishing point. If we had something over here, it would go to our vanishing point. Let's say we had I don't know, a, a funny little shape. Let's say we had a, a chair. Here's our chair, it looks like this, which is really just a modified box if you think about it, because, you know, this is our box. And all we'd have to do is say, well, look, if all we have to do is go from there to our vanishing point, we can make that chair into a couch or make it as long as we want to make it. Okay, we just put those to our vanishing point. Even this one's got to go to our vanishing point. And then you say, well, how wide do I want it? Maybe I want it this wide. You know, you always have some place for aliens to sit down when they come and visit. Because they've come a long way. I'm just following my front edge. My back edge has to do the same thing. Front edge, back edge. Okay, does that does that make sense? The more complex you get, the same thing happens though. All your edges go to that vanishing point. And it's just like our little box over here. If you can see into it like you can here, you just go to your vanishing point. If it's opaque, you can't see through it, then you just end it right there. If you can see through it, then, you know, or maybe you want this to be cut out. You can do that. You can come over here, say, well, this is this wide over here. If it comes over here, then it's going to be that wide there. I can go from there to my vanishing point. 
and I can do a little cutout right there. I can say, well, I want my leg to be that wide. And therefore it's gonna be about that wide over here. And make it that wide like that. Get rid of this line, which means I have to now see this edge here through there. Go to my vanishing point. And it's got to correspond with this edge right there. So I can come down here, make my little line down there, and voila. Now I can see it. I've just did this little cutout right there. Erase those lines and voila. Now I have a piano or I don't know what that is. A little bench of some sort. But the concept is the same. No matter how complex you get, that concept of going to the vanishing point with your edges is the exact same. Thanks for coming along on this journey. Thanks for doing Linear Perspective with me. Have a lovely day. And remember, art makes life better.